Three Town Ramones, House of Math. Here is Sarah. See, we've walked our way up. Finally remember to turn the camera on. We've been playing blocks for sure already. And done a few problems. And now we're starting to get the hang of it. Right? Okay. But notice how we're doing it without blocks this time. Okay, so what I have is 3 and 1 12 minus a half. And we have worked very hard on figuring out that I don't need to make it into 24, do I? Mm -mm. What am I going to make it? What am I going to do? What kind is this? 12. So what's the 1? 6. Okay, good. Yeah, for the denominator. Right, denominator. Is the denominator going to be 6? No, come in. Can I, how do I, how did you turn 12 into? No, like the 2. Remember, you, you told me that. Yeah, I do remember telling you that. So how do I, what do I have to multiply by over here to make them same? What was the name of the game? Same as the name of the game. <laughs> same as the name of the game. So how do I make this same? You're just about to make them sixes. How did I turn that into a six? Oh, twelve. Yeah, so you should probably make twelve the, right? Okay. Oh, now what? See, I told you, do you need to make it twelve? Then you'd have twenty-four. Then you're going to be too big. Great, I'm glad we turned the camera on. So what can we make these same? You said six. Why don't we make it six over here? Oh, okay. Six over six. Six over six. Make that that look like you're gonna multiply just the top by six over six. All right. Now, what does that give you down here for a common denominator? Oh, you're right, sir. What does it give you for a common denominator? Uh huh. Did I have to do anything to that one? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Now, too big. Oh, this one. Right? It is, right? Because I can't take, I cannot take six twelves away from one twelve. Mm. Well, I could. It would be negative. But I have some over here that I can borrow. <gasps> right? So it's two. Yeah. And what? what's my, what kind of one am I going to add to it? All right? So we're not just going to make the rule add, add the denominator. That's silly. Okay, so what do you get? Excellent. Now can I do it? Yep. Yep. Right, what does 6 want to be? 4. She added the 4 to the 3. Got 7. If you know how to do subtraction, if you don't know how to do subtraction, watch the subtraction video. Makes it super fast and easy, right? Mm hmm Okay, now am I done? Or did I forget some stuff about, what about, how many did I have over here? 2. Yeah, so you would put the 2 in there for your answer. Two. Six. Wait, can I do anything to that seven twelfths? She's trying to reduce it. I can see it. Can I do anything to that seven twelfths? Mm. I uh, yeah. Can I? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna multiply? What, what goes in? What multiplication table are these both on? Seven and twelve. Uh oh. Uh oh. What number can go into both seven and twelve? Oh, three. Can three go into seven evenly? Mm -mm. Oh, one. Okay, one could go into both of those. So what's the answer going to be? Why did you change that? Mm -mm. I don't know. Why did you change it? Aww. Uh. All right, enough. Stop. All right, so what we see is lack of understanding. I had three and one twelve. I took away a half. In order to take away a half, I had to make them same kind. So I took, a, I borrowed one out of here because I didn't have enough. So here, let's go back to make that one twelve. Put make that one twelve. Now draw an arrow. It goes down. Twelve twelfths. Because I borrowed one. And you put right over here, borrowed one. That should be an O. Okay. So now I add these two together. Put a plus sign there. Put my dots over here so I know I'm doing multiplication. We're going to put all the symbols in. Yep. All right. 
Now, rewrite that again. There you go. Now, where what do I have there? Where did that 2 come from? Why is that a 2? Oh. Oh, because of this. Right? Yeah. So where should it be? There. Why is it a 3? Mm. Why did you put 3? Mm. All right. Okay. So, give me the equal sign. Oh, we got chips. And what? Mm. Oh, 2 going 7. Mm -mm. Can I reduce 7 twelfths? No. Well, then just write 7 twelfths and we're done. Alright. You have to be able to know when you can reduce and when you can't. Right? Yeah. Alright. See how it works? Mm -hmm. Now, if I was you, I would take this and write notes very carefully in your notebook about how you do it. Because we've done one, two, three, four of them now. This is the fifth one, and you're still having a hard time. Okay, but we need to understand, what are we doing? We're taking this away from that, and in order to do that, we have to make them same. That's the name of the game with fractions, right? Rather than multiply, it just get be lazy and make this 24, it's, I could just do the one, right? Do a little bit of thinking there. And then I have to borrow out one, so I could do the whole thing. Because some people will make you try and do this whole crazy thing, will make a, a much harder way to do it, where they make you turn this into 37 twelfths, and then you take away the half. And to me, that seems like a, a harder way to go. The old style, right? Yep, that's the old style. This is the new, improved, easier version. All right, put down Ramon's House of Math for more. There's Sarah, where I can write them up carefully. Okay, sure, get in there. <laughs> Alright, so the very next problem. The only thing that uh, I had to help her with is she was going to try and change this one. But then sh I said, just think about it. Do you need to change that one? And then she realized, no, she needed to change that one. And then after that, she did the whole thing. Right. No problem. Right. Okay? So, again, not rote memorization. First we start off with blocks, then we get rid of the blocks. Three and a half, take away seven eighths. So a half is smaller than seven eighths. So we have to get one out of here, right, to make it so that it's bigger than seven eighths so that I can do my subtraction. And then once I get over here, I have to remember the two from over here, right? Now, another way you could write it is you could put over here two and twelve eighths, and then you wouldn't forget, right? Because really, that's what it is, is 2 and 12 eighths. You took this one over here. Let's make one more step. Bring me your pen. So we took this one over here. And really what we said is that I have 2 and 8 eighths. That's the same thing as that 3, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and I wish I had the camera on her face so that you could see. Yeah, okay, she sees it. And then over here I have 2 and 12 eighths, which is the same thing as 3 and 1 half, just written in such a way that we can do the math. Right? You understand? Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't shake your head. No, but she's smiling. You can, I can tell on her face when she gets it, and when she doesn't get it, you can definitely blank, tell on her blank, face. The blank look. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So there it is. See how it works? Okay. Can we do another one? Let's try another one. All right. Crude under Moon's house, man. Oh wait, here, you can write it over here. Quickly, two. The answer is two and five eighths. Excellent. Because see, it's true. Once you understand the concept, all I can do is change the numbers. Alright, so now, what was the name of the game? Same as the name of the game. Same as the name of the game. <laughs> Made them into twenty eights, right? Alright. Now, can I take that 20 away from that 7? Um, yeah. Really? Huh, no. So what am I going to do? Oh, minus 7. Oh, hmm? Oh, she's talking to Chris. Hmm. Cross the cell. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Mm-hmm. That's good because that's going to be the... Right? Oh, uh, very good. Okay, good. You added that one. Okay. Go down there. Yeah, what am I going to get? 28. Right? Now we need to be able to add. This subtract is going to be super easy over here. Thirty-five minus twenty. Interesting. Really? If I take three, two away from no, three, I get two. No, cross the one out. What's thirty-five minus twenty? Oh. Yeah, oh. What? What? What's thirty-five minus twenty? You had it right. Why'd you erase it? Oh. Can you do anything to 1528? No. Leave the same. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, three. Okay, good. There you go. Yeah, that's it. That's Ten. it. There yeah. you go. So nothing you can do with that. Nothing you can do with that. Good job. So we wind up taking four and a quarter minus five sevenths is three and 1528. Right? Now, could we do these with blocks? Absolutely. Could we draw pictures of it? Actually, we should probably draw a picture of this one. Just for fun, I'm going to draw a picture. Okay. Alrighty. So, I made a little drawing, and then we've got the thing out to really bring it home. So, we had four, and this is my four units, or four things, and a quarter of one. That's supposed to be my quarter. Right? And then over here, I had seven, eight, or five sevenths. Right? Five out of seven. And I was very careful to draw. I made that seven parts, and I colored in five of them. Now, I had to take away those five sevenths from that quarter. Oops, but I couldn't do it. Right? So here it is. Here's my quarter. And there, if you look carefully, you can see the five sevenths, right? So really what you did, like I said, is you multiply by one. And you multiply by one. Right? Bring home the concepts. Multiply by one. So now we're, they're both same. We've got 28 here and 28 there. But look how many more 28s. We've got too many 28s over here and not enough over here. So what we do is we borrow out of that one right there, right? Because there's four of them. We use our imagination. And we're going to wind up with 35 28s. These seven and 28 more. Right? So I fill up this whole box and I'd still have seven more there. And when I take away these guys over here, so right, I have this whole box filled using my imagination. I filled up this whole box and I have these guys right here. Right? So I take away these guys. And that's my that's when I took away twenty right here from my thirty-five using my imagination. Right? This is not I look at her face. Can you, right? You can see okay, right? That's the I get it face. Okay. Because there's another face that's the I don't get it face. Alright, so then I have, right, so I have my 35 here in my imagination, take away my 20, and I wind up with 15, right? So then, that, I did this part, and that was the 15 twentieths, and I had those three left over here, right? There they are. See how it works? Now, you know what I would do if I was you? Draw this picture. Put it in your notebook so you can look at the picture and see what it means. And not just that, right? This is why the symbols are so much faster than doing all this drawing, right? But you need to understand what it is you're doing. And then once you understand the concepts, all I can do is change the numbers. You understand that the name of the game is to make them same. You understand that sometimes you have to borrow one to make it work, right? Sometimes we have to reduce. When we do subtraction, and that one was super easy, but sometimes we can use our happy technique with for, for subtraction to make it go faster, right? Or I just use the add end and do small addition instead of big subtraction and boom right, so it all comes together okay Three hundred Mountain's house of mountain. oh what was the final answer? four and one quarter minus five sevenths is the same thing as what? here you read it three there they are one two three and fifteen Oops. 28. Done. Beautiful.